what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a histogram on this data. I've taken the context out of it, or most of the context out of it, so that we focus on just how to go from a table of values like this into drawing a histogram here. So in a histogram, we have a continuous scale along the bottom, and I can see that I've got age here, and that goes from 20 to 65. So I need to fit that in along here. Here, I'm going to plot the frequency density. What that's going to allow me to do is, if you notice that some of these um, widths are different. So here I've got 30 to 35, which is a width of 5. Here I've got 40 to 50, which is a width of 10. And if I plot the frequency density, what, um, what the diagram would show me is that the area will be representing the frequencies in proportion. Okay? So let's find the frequency density, and this is how you're going to do it. So what you want to do is you want to sort of have another column here saying frequency density. So let's say FD. And to find that, what you're going to do is you're going to take the frequency and divide it by the width here. So this width is 10, so you're going to do 20 divided by 10. This one here is 5, so you're going to do 22 divided by 5. Okay, and these are the values that you need to write here. So that's going to be 20 divided by 10 is 2. 22 divided by 5 is 4.4. 16 divided by 5 is 3.2. 13 divided by 10 is 1.3. And 9 divided by 15 here. So this is a 15, this width is 15. 9 divided by 15 is going to give us 0 0.6. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a scale, okay, so I know I need to fit 4.4 up here, okay, and I'm going to make a scale here, and I'm going to draw that in, and then I'm going to continue recording. Okay, so now that I have my scales all set up, so this is frequency density, so that's going to be the heights of the bars that I'm going to draw, and here's my continuous scale for age. So, first um, bar is going to go from 20 to 30 in the age, and I need a height of 2, because that was the frequency density. So I need to draw a line at 2, and it needs to cover a width of 20 to 30 on my um, horizontal axis. So that's how much I'm going to do. And I'm going to go down on 30. OK, so that's my first bar. The second bar will have a height of 4.4, because that's the frequency density. And I need to do this from 30 to 35, OK? So I need to do it up to here and not up to 40. So this bar, you can see, is going to be thinner than this first one here, OK? So 4.4, let's mark that first. 4.4 is about here and here. And I'm going to draw that in. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing here. I think about the width here, and that's along here. And the height is, be is going to be given by the frequency density. And remember, it's the area of these bars that will represent the frequency in proportion. Okay, so, and, and the thing is, with GCSE statistics, also with GCSE maths, the area of the bars will actually equal to the frequency. Okay, so you can just assume that the area of these bars, when you work them out, for example, if you do 10 times 2, because 2 is the height here, 10 is the width here, so 10 times 2 is 20, so this frequency would be 20. Okay, look at this one. This is 5 times 4.4. And if you work out 5 times 4.4, you will find that it's 22. Okay, so it will give us the frequency. Now I'm going to complete this histogram, and I'm going to carry on from there. So this is the completed histogram. Um, you can see that the heights of these bars are the frequency densities that I worked out before. And the widths of these bars, you can see they're not all the same. And um, these widths are coming from uh, this scale here. And you can see that 50 to 65 is here. And I've got this bar, which has that width of 15. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the table. And I'm going to just show you the histogram and do a question from there. Now, I want to remove the table because the same question actually can be done using just the table. 
but I want I want to show you how you would do it just by looking at the histogram if the table was not to be given. So here's a question I have here. So estimate the proportion of people aged between 25 and 40. Now, um, you might be asked proportion, you might be asked the number of people. Now, proportion would mean that you'd have to find the total number of people. That would be the area of all of these bars. And that would be at the bottom of your fraction. And at the top of your fraction would be uh, the, the number of people that are between 25 and 40. Okay, so proportion just has that extra step that you need to do. So how would you do this? So what you need to do is you need to find 25 and 40 on this scale that you have here. Now 25 is there, so I'm going to make those markings. So 25 is here and 40 is here. Now if I just go up from the 25 and right at the top of this bar, I know that the number of people between 25 and 40 would be the area of these two bars plus this section here. Okay, remember that the area um, in a histogram in GCSE maths or GCSE statistics will represent the area, will represent the frequency. So we, uh, what, what we're going to do, I'm just going to find the areas of these three bars, then I'm going to find the area of all of it, and I'm going to work out this proportion. So this is 5 here, and 5 times 2 would give me the area of this rectangle here. So this is 5. And that's 2, so 5 times 2 is 10. So is, there's going to be 10 people there. So that's 10. Uh, the next one, I have 5 again. And 5 times 4.4 this time. Uh, 5 times 4.4 is 22. And this last one, I have 5 times 3.2. And that's 16. So I have 16 here. Now, if I add these up, that's how many people between the ages 25 and 40 that I've estimated using my histogram. So add these up, I will get, uh, so we will have 10, add 22, add 16, and that's equal to 48. So that's 48 people. Now, if I continue and find the areas of all of this, okay, so the area of this bit here would be 10 as well. So let's say this is 10. And this bit is 10 times 1.3, so that's 13 here. This will be 13. And this bit here would be 15 times 0 0.6, and that's going to be uh, 9. Okay, and now the total number of people would be the addition of all of these numbers. Okay, I know this is uh, these three here are 48, so I need to do 48, add these three numbers. And to find the proportion, that would go in the denominator, and 48 would be at the top of the fraction. So let's write that down. So we've got 48 over um, 48 again, add this, for this 10 here this 13 and this 9, so add 10, add 13, and add 9, and that will give us 48 over, so that will be 58, 68, 68, add 3 will be 71, add 9 would be 80, so 48 over 80, and that's our proportion. Now you can simplify this, let's simplify it, so uh, we can get... 6 over 10, and that's also 3 over 5, and you can see that's 60%. Okay, so 60% of the people are between the ages 25 and 40 here. So notice how we use the, um, uh, the histogram to estimate the proportion of the people aged between 25 and 40. The number of people was 48, and the proportion was just 48 out of the total number of people. Okay, and we found the frequencies by finding the areas of these bars. Now also, I, just, I, I mentioned before that I removed the table of values because we could also use the table of values to do this, but I wanted to show you how you would do it if you were just given a histogram. So here's some questions for you to try. So we have um, some information in the table. So this is height in centimeters in X, and then we've got frequency. And what you need to do is you need to draw a histogram using the data in this table. And then what I'd like you to do is use the histogram to estimate the IQR, okay, the interquartile range. So make sure you use the histogram to do that. And I want to see 
um, how you've used the histogram to find this interquartile range or find an estimate of the interquartile range.